Debo Samuel shoves a long snapper. Tabor Pepper uh, on the sideline. Take a look at this because that's not a shove to me. That's a choke. He tried to choke him. Now, do we have him entering the stadium? I just got to ask. Do we have this motherfucker entering the stadium? Uh, can we pause it? Because I'm trying to figure out what it is right there. All right. So is this the black Arnold Schwarzenegger? Is he looking like the black Terminator? I don't know what this is. I got to be honest. I don't know what it is. But I'm going to be honest on this show like I always am. And I'm going to be real. And I've had actually two NFL coaches. I'll never tell you who they are. Two NFL coaches actually text me saying this. If he ain't gay, we don't know what the fuck gay is anymore. That's from two NFL coaches that currently coach in the NFL. (laughs) Good friends of mine. If he ain't gay, then we don't know what gay is. Why? Why why would you wear that, homie? Like, let's be honest. Is that a skirt? Uh, First of all, I got to ask. Is it a skirt? Are those shorts? Are there a split in there? What is the split? What the fuck is going on? Lucy, females in the chat, is this a skirt? A, what is it? Please let me know. Please tell me it's shorts. Please tell me it's some sort of short. I'm curious. I want to know. But please tell me what it is. Because I'm being honest. Jamel Ridley, here you come out of nowhere, motherfucker. Do you not know that gay men have the baddest bitches in the world, you dumb fuck? Jamel really said, have you seen his girl? You can't be gay with a broad like that. Beep, false, wrong. Every gay dude I know got the baddest bitches around him, you fucking dummy. Holy shit. Are you serious? That's your fucking excuse to defend his ass? You're defending him because he has a bad bitch around him? (laughs) You're defending that shit right there. See, time out. This is the problem we have. Jamil Ridley is actually defending this weirdo fuck right here in baby oil, leather, looking like a motherfucking Terminator, and he's defending him because this generation is soft as pussy. This generation wants boys to be girls. He's defending this attire right here. He's still doing it. Jamil's still doing it. So he gay because of some clothes? No. He gay because he's fucking masculine looking, dumb fuck. No. He's gay because he's wearing a skirt, motherfucker. Are you fucking shitting me, Jamil Ridley? How do you define gay, Jamil? Uh, Jamil, homie. You are worse than this motherfucker. Jamil, are you gay? Uh, Keep it funky. Just tell us now, homie. It's all good. Are you gay? This motherfucker is the gay Terminator, and Jamil Ridley is really on here defending this motherfucker. Just tell us you're gay, homie. Keep it funky. Fuck it. We're all here. We're here for it. Just tell us, dog. Just tell us, dog. It's all good, homie. We still uh, we still like you, homie. <laughs> Jamil, you're gay. Ain't nobody playing with you. You are gay, homie. Like, let's be real. You're gay. And just keep it funky. I mean, it is what it is, Jamil. You are a fucking homo. Period. You defending him. You like girls coaching too, right, motherfucker? Anyone who defends this is not against it. Let's keep it funky. If you defend it, that means you're okay with it, and you're okay with boys dressing like this. You are gay. Let's just keep it funky. That's all you got. That's what it is. (laughs) Shit. You know what I hope? I hope that Trump gets back in, and we get back to being American again. I I, I swear to God, that's really what I, I, I go to bed thinking. Trump, if you need me, homie, I'm here. 
I'll help you out. I'll get us cracking. I'll get us back cracking. Because I got to be real. We need to get America back being American. And this is what I mean. The F word. We need to be able to say it right here on the show. I need to be able to call Jamel, Jamel Ridley the straight up F word. That's what I need to call you, motherfucker. I need to call you the F word. I need to use the R word again. Oh, I love the R word. Motherfuck, the R word is missing, man. We are missing. And then an R F. Oh, you're a R F. Holy fuck, I can't wait. I might coach again. If I can call a guy, a kid, uh, I'm telling you, I'm back. Because I used to call my kids that shit every day. You are, you are F. If you don't know what the RF is, and but I want to say it. I want to say it so goddamn bad. My tip of my dick is tingling. I want to say it so bad. God damn, I want to say it so bad to Jamil and all these motherfuckers. By the way, Jamil, you you look like Jamil Hill, motherfucker. You got a female name, dog. I don't know if you can if you reti- I don't know if you know that yet. You got a female name defending a motherfucker looking like a female. What does that tell you? You're a fucking gay. <laughs> I don't know if you realize that shit. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. That guy that just dressed and came in there with a black tight leather skirt on choked the long snapper for the kicker missing the kicks. Ah! I got a problem with that, man. It's a lot of beta ness going on in here. A lot of beta males in the chat. A lot of beta males walking in on in, in the NFL. A lot of beta males getting choked by the beta male. I don't even know what that means. When the beta gets choked by the beta, what does that mean? What is the long snapper then? A minus beta? I, I don't know. I, I don't know what this guy is. I don't know what the beta male that got choked is by the beta male. I'm trying to put all this together. I'm trying to put it all together. But I would be damned if a dude walked in the locker room with baby oil and a leather skirt on and then choked me out. I would be damned if I would ever play. I would ever show my face again. I couldn't show my face again on national TV as a long snapper for getting choked by the the guy wearing this leather skirt. I couldn't be around anymore. I'm just telling you, dog. Bailey, is he holding a purse too? Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that, dog. I didn't even notice it, Bailey. I didn't even notice what he had, what he was holding up. Ah. Ah. Man, oh, man, oh, man. I don't get it, dog. I really don't get it. I do not get it. Shut up. Don't tell me the long snapper is that. Is there proof? Do we have proof? Please tell me we got proof. <laughs> Please tell me there's proof of that. There's no fucking way. You're telling me that, Leah, do you know the long snapper is possibly a Kamala Harris supporter? No! Is the long snapper truly a Kamala Harris supporter? Is that what I'm hearing from my sources? Don't tell me that the long snappers are Kamala Harris supporter, homie. Oh. Oh. No way. Ah. Fuck. Fuck. No way. Now it's all coming to make sense. Doesn't it make sense now? So listen to what I'm about to tell you real quick, okay? Let me tell you a story. All you little... Fuck boys, come sit on daddy's lap. Let me tell you a story. So, the beta male and the emasculation and proclamation of American nation, (laughs) when we started to feminize males and turn them into girls, okay, what happened was y'all accepted it. Just like mediocrity's new excellence in football. Y'all have accepted it, told your brains that this is what it's supposed to be, what it's not. So what's happened is, 
The beta male has now captured the, the audience of you guys. And now football, this is talking football, sober, that non-member motherfucker. Shut your motherfucking ass up or become a member, motherfucker. I'll block your bitch ass. So the bottom line is, this is what football is that you guys have all accepted. You see where I'm going with this? You have accepted this as good. Oh! Tabor Pepper is not happy Donald Trump won the election. Guess what? Taylor Pepper, I'm not happy you got choked out by a fucking dude wearing a black leather fucking skirt either, motherfucker. You pussy. Look at the two pussies going at it. Can we go back to brass tacks here? Holy shit, man. You got my mind thinking here, Bailey, on the ones and twos. You got my whole brain working here in a crazy manner, okay? Shout out to everybody in here solo dolo with me. You got my mind working crazy. Can two pussies fuck each other? Please let me know. Can two vaginas touch each other and actually have intercourse? No. Can't happen. Never seen it happen. I don't know how it happens. I'm curious. One of them needs a dildo or a dick. I don't know if two pussies to each other touching can actually fuck each other. I've never seen it. Have you? So you guys out there have accepted the fact that women can coach pro football and hockey. You guys can have beta males choking other beta males and sitting there thinking that this is the fucking greatest football you've ever watched. What? What? <laughs> you really think this is great shit we're watching? We got two betas choking each other out, but it gets better. Hold on, it gets better. D. Jones said MAGA allowed this. <laughs> Here's what it here's the here's, here's gets better, D Jones. But Bosa puts on a MAGA hat, freedom of speech, right? Or our men, our men, men, men puts on a hat and gets fined eleven thousand one hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, he gets fined for wearing a hat that we should all be able to wear. But you all can wear LGBTQ hats, no problem. You can wear rainbow colors in NFL games, no problem. Listen, why don't I bitch and moan and get the motherfucker wearing rainbow hats kicked out of the NFL game? So my freedom of speech is just is just one-sided, huh? We can wear rainbow shit, LGBTQ shit. I can watch a girl, a boy dressed like a girl walking into a stadium, but I can't have my own hat on that has nothing racist. Nothing towards any human in the stadium. It's just a hat for expressing my freedom. And we get kicked out. So a guy wearing a MAGA hat gets kicked out of the game, but you can dress in a leather skirt. You can get a leather skirt on and walk into the game and be okay. <laughs> Come on, homie. You don't see what's happening. You don't see what's happening. But America spoken. And on America, Veterans Day, today, shout out to everybody coming in the, sh in the chat today. Shout out to all you guys, man. America has spoken. We got tired of it. America looked in the mirror and was like, fuck, man. We need a man back in office. We need a man so we can put kickoff back in the NFL. And we're not just standing there waiting for a kickoff to happen. Motherfuckers just standing there watching the ball. Like, have you watched kickoff seriously? And just. Ah, he ain't returning anyway. Let's go. We'll, we'll jog off the field. Literally, motherfuckers are on the field. The kickoff happens. The guy re doesn't return it. And the guys just go straight to the sideline. There was no activity. There was no activity. Nothing happened. What happened to the alpha male sport we once knew? Kickoff, wedge breakers, going down, holding hands, busting a motherfucker. What happened to the alpha male sports I grew up with? I, I just want to know, man. And I want to know when boys became girls. Period. Because Debo Samuel, you're a fucking girl. I don't give a fuck who wears that shit. I don't care who defends that shit. You look like a broad, homie. And you should be a motherfucking shame to yourself. What the fuck are you wearing? Hey, nice thighs, motherfucker. Nice fucking thighs, homie. 
<laughs> nice fucking thighs. Are you showing off your thighs, you fucking weirdo fuck? Hey, Jamil, hey, hey, Jamil, Ridley, are you massaging that motherfucker's thighs at night, homie? Nice calves, motherfucker. <laughs> you fucking weirdo motherfuckers. You really defend this shit. It's fucking crazy to me. Caleb Williams paints his motherfucking nails. Y'all defended it on this show when he started doing it a couple years ago. You motherfuckers defended this motherfucker wearing painted nails. Now you defend the Duke kid that plays basketball. Now you defend the kid. It's like Alabama wide receiver. This is the fucking what's going on. Jamil, I'm looking at his legs because you got a female name, motherfucker. That's why, homeboy, you soft pussy. Stop defending dudes wearing girl dresses, motherfucker. You suspect as a motherfucker, Jamel Ridley, Jamel Hill. You suspect as fuck. Sus, motherfucker, whatever you call. Sus, you sus as a motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. You old motherfucking soft pussy. You're the reason our kids are pussy now, Jamel Ridley, motherfucker. You're the reason we're pussy now. You're the reason youth football is pussy now, Jamel Ridley, motherfucker. Soft ass motherfucker talking about a black leather skirt being worn by a dude in a fucking NFL game walking into the San Francisco locker room, by the way. Uh oh, maybe the motherfucker's been in Frisco too long. It is the gayest city in America, but nobody wants to talk about that. Maybe Debo got turned out. Have you thought of that? Shit. Maybe Debo got turned out. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. God damn. You motherfucker defending the worst shit. You defend the motherfucker. It's unbelievable to me. Unbelievable.